Hi everybody, it's Kika Ray, your lifestyle blogger. And it is almost Memorial Day, so that means it is time for you to start planning your next vacation and RV trip. And I have some free camping information for you. So come with me as we search the internet and look for free camping in the state of Minnesota. Okay, so in Google, you want to put free campsites in Minnesota in your Google search um, to deliver the information that you're looking for. And then you'll notice when you do that, all of these different um, informational sites will come up, including um, some like USA Today, which probably will go more in detail about um, free camping, probably all around the globe, but this one says particularly in Minnesota because that's what I put in Google search. But this first one is probably the one that we're looking for. And this first one is camping in Minnesota, free campsites near you. And the website is freecampsites.net. So I'm going to click on that and it brings us to freecampsites.net. And in this corner here, it tells you um, that you're at the right site, free campsites. It tells you um, you can do your trip planner. You can add campsites. So this could be for different um, places that want to add free camping. Um, but I want to show you something here. Bring your attention to how many places there actually are in Minnesota where you could camp for free. And this is a large range. So if you're taking a trip to Minnesota, maybe you're going to Wisconsin or um, South Dakota or Iowa. And, you know, along the way you need to stop, especially if you have an RV and get some rest you can stop along the way at these different free campsites. So these are all the ones that are available. And over here on this side, you have the different um, campsites. So it actually lists them over here and it tells you um, a little more detail about them. The one thing that I really like a lot is it gives you a five star and it tells you if they are actually a five star campsite or not. So this one is, happens to be three out of five stars. Um, and then it has these little icons here that let you know if they're what's available on that campsite, like water, sewer, electric, Wi-Fi, cable, those types of things. This one has a lot of things available, so that was pretty interesting. And this is in Spirit Lake, Minnesota, and it's actually a county park. So it gives you a little bit more information about the county park and then what you would need to do probably to reserve that site. Um, and then if you go down a little bit more, there's some other ones. Um, and then here's one here. So if you're trying to get something pretty nice, you probably want to go for something that's more close to the five stars. This one will give you three and a half out of five. Um, but there is a fee here. It's a 24. Let's see what it says. Water and sewer. If you stay longer than 24 hours, It'll cost you $20 per day at this site, but you can stay there. It's actually at a fairground for 24 hours for free. So that's pretty nice. And you do have the water and sewer available. Um, then you can kind of go down and look at the other ones. Um, looking on this, I haven't really seen anything that's five out of five stars, but they do come pretty close. Minnesota does keep their parks and stuff like that pretty nice because we are the state with 10,000 lakes so um, you got some pretty good campsites here in Minnesota um, so this one again is um, three and a half out of five stars and comes with a lot of amenities and with this one fees only the first night is free so after that you pay $15 per night so a lot of these places are offering you 24 hour free and then you have to pay, which in most cases, if you're traveling, um, that's probably all you need is um, just an overnight stay. So that's pretty nice. And then this, again, is the map with all of the details. And um, they can even narrow it down for you and get you right to that location if you do the trip planner that's up here in the corner. So this is the free campsites. And I just wanted to point that out to you. So if you have an RV and you're always paying for places to park your RV and paying for water, sewer, electric, and all those fancy amenities, just know that you don't always have to pay for that. There are some free camping sites out there. 
and they might be pretty beautiful. To change your scenery up and try something new is pretty nice. You don't always have to camp in Walmart for free. There are other places.